Hey guys, it's Bree. So today's video is going to be a cloth pad review for you guys and it's on Tic Tacs by Tamari. She's a Facebook seller, I will put her link down below. And she's based in Belgium and she ships from Luxembourg, so she's an EU seller. And I always like doing uh, video reviews for EU sellers because there aren't a lot of them out there. It's, most of the ones I do are for the US and UK based, so it's nice to do those based in Europe. So those of you who are European or even in Belgium, then here's another seller for you. Now, I actually have had two parcels from her, and I will explain why. Here are the four pads she sent me originally. When she first contacted me, Tamari, she's really sweet, has answered all my questions and everything, so great customer service. Um, she contacted me asking if I'd be happy to do a review, and I said yes, you know, send me a couple of samples, and I'll be happy to test them out for you. And I got from her one thong liner, which I actually did a, a giveaway with this liner, but the woman who won it never claimed it, and I knew I had another parcel coming from her, and she was going to put some in for review, so I held on to this one. But this will be going back up for a giveaway. Um, I also got one of her kind of teen, this is 8 inch regular flow pads, and I got one of her heavy, uh, I think this is a 9 inch pad, these are all cotton topped. The other one I got was a 10 inch that is slightly heavy, or oh, I had three packages actually, she sent this one after. This is a heavy 10 inch, and this one is actually a seconds because it's got metal snaps, which she doesn't normally do, and it also has a tiny hole in there. Um, and I test ran these two here along with, oh no, that's the second thing. So I, I tried out these two pads because this is Jersey and I don't get on well with Jersey at all. So I didn't want to test that one out because I thought I could use that one and give away. Um, I didn't realise it was actually seconds. I didn't even notice the tiny hole in it until she pointed, out, pointed it out to me um, via Facebook when I was talking to her. But these two I tried out, and I quite like them, you know, they worked well, didn't leak, didn't have any issues with them at all. They're quite thick for cloth pads. This is her heavy. Some people like thicker pads, so this is one of those brands if you're one of those people. And then this is the regular. But after about two months of using them, which is my typical time for, you know, doing cloth pad reviews, I try them out for two months so I get a good sense of how they work and then I do a review. But when I went to check out some of the details on these pads, I had a look at her Facebook page and one thing that's very, very common for cloth pad makers who are just starting out is that in a very small amount of time, they progress, you know, in their sewing skills very quickly, so they get a lot better at making cloth pads because you, you start getting more orders and you start making more and when that happens you get more proficient at making them. And so I said to her, hey, I had a look at your Facebook page and it looks like some of the pads you're making now are much better quality than the ones that you sent me and maybe I could, if you want to, send like a sample, even if it's just a small seconds one, that I can show people so when I do a review on these pads, I can also show them how much you've progressed and you know maybe your st stitching is even better now. And she said yeah, sure she would do that because she wanted to have, I always think you know if there's something that could get these um, sellers, makers, a better review, then I'll suggest it to them and if they want to do it, they can do it. But I never put any pressure on them. Anyway, I got a package in the mail full of this. <laughs> she sent me a ton of stuff and some of her designs have changed as well, so I thought it was really good that she did that. Um, so I'm going to show you what these are and show you the ones that I've tried, because I tried out all these, but I'm going to do the review on this lot because this is her newest style and this is what she's selling at the moment. So here is a thong liner. I don't use thongs, so this will also go in a giveaway with this one. She sent some of these for giveaways. She sent me three panty liners. One of them's in the wash, so I don't have it here. But these two, they're exactly the same. They're just a different print on that one, which is really cute. So this one's just got sweets, and this one's got rubber ducks. These are much thinner as well. Pretty, pretty darn thin. So these ones are backed in micro fleece. The rest are backed in anti pill fleece. That's just the liners. The liners are made up of one layer of flannel inside. Then you move on to the teens, or what you call them, small slash teen regulars. So there are two prints here. This is the turtles, turtles, turtle, turtles, turtle print. I was just trying to think, is that turtle or a turtles? Turtle print. And my favorite print of the lot, possibly my favorite print I've ever had, the apples. And for some reason, it shows up kind of blue on here. It's actually a pale lilac. I don't know if you can see it there. It's really, really pretty. It might be my light um, for filming. So these two here, I didn't actually use either of these two for the reason that I found out when I was using the other pad. They're exactly the same as this one, and this shape doesn't really work for me too great, so I wanted to keep these pristine so I could use these in a giveaway for her. And then she sent me two of her medium regulars. 
This is the skulls print. Oh, the skulls print. She doesn't have any lengths for them, but I do know that this is 8 inches and her typical line is 8 inches. I believe her panty liner is either 7 or 8 inches. These, I think, are more likely to be 9.5 or 10 inches, just from the ge my general knowledge of cloth pad lengths. And this is the hedgehog's print. And then you get onto her medium heavy flow. This is called Snowman and Friends print. I'm just looking now because she wrote down all the names for me. This is made up of, sorry, the regulars, the teen regulars and this regular, medium regular, they are made up of one layer of terry, one layer of flannel in their core. The medium heavies are made up of two layers of terry, one layer of flannel, and so are the supers, which is the foxes and friends print here. This is made up of two layers of terry and one layer of flannel. She doesn't show them the absorbency anywhere in a snap or anything, so you kind of have to know what absorbency it is. So when you get to the heavy one, it is pretty thick still, but at the lower end of the scale, she has managed to get them a little bit thinner, which I think is really good. Let's go down to here. This is a regular. So yeah. I tried out, as I said, one of the panty liners, it wasn't this one, but I will use this one to demonstrate because the other one's in the wash. I also used the Hedgehog's Medium Regular, and I used her Super One. I'd had no issues with these pads at all, really. Like, I mean, I didn't leak or anything, they worked great. Um, I pre-washed them with my panty liners so that I would get them up to good absorbency. So this one is the panty liner, it's 8 inches long. For me, this was a bit wide because when it's snapped up, it's around 3 inches in width. So I like to have really narrow panty liners and this isn't a narrow panty liner. So for me, this didn't really work, it kind of bunched up, but that's because of my body shape. If you know you like wider panty liners, this is one to consider. My mum always needs wider panty liners, so I might give one of those to her. This is the regular, the medium regular. I really like this one. I used it on my fifth day of my period, I think. And it was really comfy. I used my nice new underwear and it's snug. It kind of it curves really well to contour. Nice shape. And it worked really good, I think, for me. I mean, I don't have a heavy period, so I can't really test absorbency-wise how good they are. But as I said, I had no issues with this. And then on my heaviest day, I think you saw on my period vlog, actually, that I used this one. Again, no issues. The shape worked well for me and everything. It held up great, even when I did have kind of a gush. It didn't run off the sides or anything, because I'd pre-washed the cotton as well. So overall, I would definitely recommend this brand. What am I missing? Oh, just the paint liner I put down. I would definitely recommend you try her out. She's aimed at the kind of more affordable end of the market which is great especially if you want to try out cloth pads without spending a fortune then she's definitely a brand you should try her stitching like looking at it now it's so much better than what it was when she sent me the first lot and it's really really improved um this is the thong liner as you can see the stitching looks really good with that really nice and neat so that's the thing as I said before and that's why I contacted her because you know this often happens with cloth pad sellers they just their stitching improves a lot in the time that they have between when they send me the products and when I'm ready to review them. So yeah, stitching's really good, I had no problems, no like faultiness or anything, nothing broke, nothing went out of place, they worked really well. So I hope you found this helpful guys, I will do a giveaway with this lovely lot at some point, I will obviously have a big giveaway coming up. This will probably be on either my Facebook page or on my blog channel, the link's down below and it will also be at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that, I will let you know, I'll give you guys more information when that's happening. I have a couple of other things I want to do with the giveaway though, so it's not just one thing, I have a big giveaway coming up though, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, please subscribe and I will talk to you later, bye!